Because when I track the movement of this girl, you figure there'd be something outside, but it said in the house, oh my god. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray, this one's called Born Into Fear. This is the demo, the full game hasn't been released, but as usual, I will put a link to the Steam page down below in the description, and you can check it out for yourselves. It's free to play, so you can't go wrong with that, and look at the spooky red eyes. I wonder if they're gonna get me. I hope they get me. Seems like I've been playing a lot of games lately where you actually can't die. They're spooky, but you can't die. Or when you do, it's at the very end of the game, which isn't that bad. I just kind of miss a terrible thing trying to, you know, hunt me down. I know our main host misses that. But anyways, before we get into the main host, he looks impatient, by the way. He sees the red eyes, the demonic eyes. He's getting antsy. Let's go out to the game site real quick on Steam and see what the dev says the story is about. And then we'll pop back here. Born Into Fear is a first-person horror game set in an evacuated neighborhood. You'll have to solve puzzles and avoid enemies to destroy the evil buffer. Alright, that was short and sweet. So an abandoned town. And I don't know what the evil buffer is, but it says we're going to be hunted down possibly. We have some sort of threat, which is pretty cool. I saw some of the screenshots. I didn't see a demon, but these creepy things. But we'll, we'll see. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen this game yet. As a quick disclaimer, I am blind. I've got no center vision, just peripheral. So if I can do this, there's no reason you cannot. Let's bring in our main host himself, Lucifer, the Dark One, above and below, the King of Kings. So he says. Thank you, thank you, Balamore. Balamore, buddy. Yes, sir. What do you mean, so he says? Everything I say is fact. You know this. No, that's just what you say. You know what I think. You know what I believe. I'm a Christian. I don't I don't think you're the king of kings and God. Ho <laughs> we're playing this, are we? You know damn well I am God. There is no God, only me, Balamore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll never get me to say it. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, look at me. I have important things to say. Bah, 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 bah. That's how you talk, Balamore. That's how you talk. That's what it sounds like when nonsense is flowing out of your mouth like butter. All right. Anyways, what about this game? Does it look spooky? I saw you pittering around in the darkness back there. I know I was antsy. I gotta admit, those red eyes. I'm looking forward to it. Look like they're females in the shadows there with the red eyes, though. Are they like mannequins or something? I'm not sure. Well, I don't want to spoil the monster that I saw in the screenshot, so we'll we'll just have to experience it. Okay, well, I won't hold my breath. It's one of those spooky indie horror games. I bet it'd be a real gut wrencher. Stop picking on them. You know you like LPs that do these weird games. Yeah, I do. It just sounds better when I'm talking down to you, Balamore. It makes me feel good when you're beneath my feet, beneath the dust under my feet. You're in quite a little mood today. You got your popcorn, I see. Oh, I don't leave home without it when I'm coming to see you, buddy. Watch these LPs. Get a little, uh, maybe innocent Christian blood spraying everywhere from you, Balamore, on these games. I need to see more death. I need to hear that guttural scream of yours. Such a girl. You scream like a little bitch. That's you, actually. You're hearing yourself scream. Popcorn's flying everywhere. You get blood everywhere because you love blood on your popcorn. You're so weird. No, 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 no. Extra innocent Christian blood, Balmore. You need to get it right. This is uh, primo blood. I'm not, I'm not just wasting just regular blood. This is primo blood. So when it splatters everywhere, I get upset because it's hard to come by. All right. Well, you eat your popcorn and we'll... Just get into this game. It sounds good, buddy. All right, well, you heard the big man himself. Without further ado, let's do this. Good evening, Agent. Read over your briefing before you make your way to the mission site. Oh, this looks really cool. Okay, we're into it. I was turning the volume up after the intro, and I'm like, whoa, it's quiet. And then I get surprised by that. This is cool. Oh, I hear the light going. Okay, I like this. It's almost like, um, what are those, Ghost Hunter games? Okay, these are motion tracking devices. Agent, if you could find the 
time, we'd like you to place these motion trackers in key spots within the home. They'll help us track the target and try to find a pattern to her movements. Oh. So this is like some weird ghost hunting thing. Okay, I've seen um I've seen this kind of inventory before. Okay, we'll have to figure this out. All right, so I'm not unfamiliar with that inventory system. I can see where I don't want to go in the car yet because we're not briefed. I like it though. It looks pretty good. What, oh, cool. They got the movements. Q or E to change light type. Okay, so Operation Hollow Heights. We got three objectives, one's extra. That would be the motion sensor. We gotta carefully check the area. I don't know what the barrier is, but we're gonna probably find out. And then we have to gain as much information as we can about the uh, whatever it is. I'm assuming the buffer. Aegis. Okay, I. Oh, we're not quite done. Never mind. What's this? Oh. What is that? It does. It looks like a big mannequin. Oh, yeah. That's what I saw on the screenshot. So I'm assuming those are the. Or maybe that's the subject. Those red eyes. Yeah, that's very creepy. Her head's cocked to the side, even. Very tall. Okay, so this is definitely the the mission briefing. Um, The town wasn't abandoned. Everybody died there. This organization I work for brought in a buffer or summoned a buffer. I'm not sure. I think they brought the buffer in and tried doing some weird experiment and everybody died so these buffers take on different personalities of the suffering people around them and they're not sure what this quote-unquote sally is that was the the photos that we had of sally they're, they just want to find out info on her so that's my whole mission is to go and just reconnaissance on sally all right i guess now we can go that looks like a comfy couch i like this garage actually it's big it's finished. I like it. All right, let's uh, let's get going. Ooh. Bright, a pinpoint. I don't know what that is. That's weird. These are house numbers. Two have question marks. Okay. Interesting. Let me, uh... I'm probably going to regret I turned it up just a little bit more. You guys shouldn't notice because of video editing. So these are the four houses, I bet. There's way more than four, though. Hold on. Oh, there is a barrier. Interesting. Oh, okay. This one is like lights the ground around me. Okay, I understand now. So, our first objective is to just explore the area. So, let's kind of look around. I like this. It's got good atmosphere, too. What's this? 
are you? Can I crouch? I can. What is that? Am I crazy? There's something there. Well, we'll go around. Hello? Hold on, is this still there? It is still there, okay. I thought maybe it maybe was a foot. So, Sally's trotting around here. Let's check the porch. This is 103. Okay, I kind of like this for close up. Oh, it's a barrier. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to see what was. Uh... Oh, we can go in here. Let's leave that door open. So we know I probably can't get around. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was unless it something to do with this barrier okay let's check over here I like the flashlight switching can't really crouch very far 104 is open as well. Okay, we'll keep you closed. That must be... Yeah, it must be these two. I know you can't see my mouse moving. That should be hidden on the video. But the question mark is 104. That's where we are now. 103 does not have a question mark. Maybe 104 is the one we're supposed to do. I'm not really sure. The other thing too is how do I know where to place it? Or is it gonna put like a little icon and say, hey, put me here? Because we want to track the movement of this girl. You figure there'd be something outside, but it said in the house. Oh my god. You are big. much taller than me. I gotta run around and see that. That was pretty tall. Oh wow, look at her. Is that Sally? It's outside the barrier. So they're born from people suffering and dying? Like a mass amount of people? That's creepy. Okay. <laughs> so we've done that. What's over here? Oh. I see you. that's what this flashlight's for to really focus okay. holy crap Ooh. okay that was freaky let's go back she didn't kill me unless it like did kill me and it just reset me that could be true uh, I think it was yes it was right here No, it wasn't. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, you know what? Let's look. Maybe it... I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's like in the corners. And that was nowhere near as tall as that other one. I 
don't have any kind of weapon. Wait, 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 wait. Too far. flashlight actually doesn't hurt her okay so she doesn't want us to go over there that's weird it's always to my car okay there's no barrier here it's just the entrance this place was called Hollow Heights, right? North Hollow Heights, that's right. So this is just getting into it. There's got to be a barrier way down there. You don't want this thing running around the, the real world. Alright, what house numbers was this? Oh, this is the other end. That's weird. I parked way over there, not way over here. Alright, well, let's just look around we might find something that's where the other one is right there she is okay house isn't ready yet what is that there's something up there does that say door it does so maybe there is a way to get in there hmm. there's no mat is there a rock this house isn't ready yet Keep wanting to press E. Oh boy. Alright, let's check this house. So far, that was pretty good little spook to find. But other than that, nothing of real notoriety. though so we got a little kids my son would love this any creepy heads poking over the fence so this creature can material and dematerialize at will which is kind of scary all right, here's 101. Okay, so we have three houses we can go in. I think three and four and one. Being that three and four have question marks, why don't we hit the one that isn't question mark? That would be 103. All right, door is still open. 
Okay, so this house, because it didn't have a question mark on the map, like I thought, it's considered non-essential for the mission. Uh, Mr. Wong and his wife, I guess only Mr. Wong was home when the operation happened. And it says they were worried because she wasn't present. The operation would fail, but it did not. I wonder what they did. So it says I can search if I want. We'll close the front door. This is freaky. It really is like just an abandoned town, some entity running around. Yeah, this is weird. So this is just a note that they terminated the target, which is Mr. Wong. They killed him and stating the, the wife wasn't home yet and they're going to wait for her, but it doesn't matter. They think it's going to work regardless if she's here and whatever. All right, this is just a love note from his wife saying she left him pizza in the fridge. I don't know if that's a cue for me or not. So I want to left click everything or press E and it's not, it's right click. So do we go in the fridge? No. There we go. That looks a little better when you're wandering around looking for stuff at close range. Oh, that's where you put the motion sensors. Okay. The little tables, huh? Interesting. Once I get used to this flashlight, it's going to be pretty awesome. I think that was it. Did I check this door? I did not. Oh, that's creepy. Can't really see in there. Oh God. I was wondering when she was gonna make her big appearance. Or eyes aren't. They're not red. I mean, she's definitely here, but I think she left her husk. Ugh. Is she gonna talk to me? Oh my god. Oh, is she in here still? Yeah, so there's more than one. Actually, it might have mentioned that that was the case. They're just buffers. But one in particular they don't know about. Okay, I think I've explored thoroughly enough. You don't have anything in your hand or anything, do you? Yeah, we'll have to check the side of the house where she just banged. And we'll shut this door. All right, 103. Yeah, look how tall she is. She's very tall. I don't see anything unless she did something back here. Okay, so we could do 101 or 104. 101. And then we'll hop over there to 4. Come home, honey. Mommy made you to play with your books and get your dishes before you relax. 
that she took on the mothers. Sally is the mom now. The Jefferson family, I think it says, lived here. Um, I'm supposed to search around the house and Sally wants me to put away the books and the dishes. So it doesn't say I have to do it though. I've got a feeling though to leave. Uh, I don't have a choice. So if I see a book, oh, here we go. There we go. These are dishes too. This is such a weird game. Oh, that was a book. Okay, I was like, is that a journal? This game is very weird. I'm kind of not a fan, but I'm keeping an open mind. I don't know what that is, but I picked it up. Oh, we got to put all the books here. All right. Let's just uh, clean this floor out before we move on. Look at that waste of lasagna. Dishes go there, okay. I'm collecting toys, books, and dishes? Why am I collecting toys? Definitely collecting toys. I think Sally said something about put away your toys and do the dishes. But I never heard about books. This was not knocked over before. Where are you? You can try to flush the toilet. Put the seat up. There's a lady in the house. That's a purse. Oh boy. sweet love note from the husband to the wife about how happy he is in his marriage and reminiscing about proposing to his wife years before. Okay, so it's like these happy families are just, just you know, murdered. And all the misery causes uh, these entities to run amok. Okay, I'm surprised when I'm picking toys up why I'm not picking up those bunnies. Alright, where are you, woman? Demon woman. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so loud, I have the volume cranked on my headset. Where are you? Whoa! That really scared me. I'm doing such a good job. That's good. So this is what Sally really is, huh? There's our motion sensor. So that other house has got to be it. Another book. My son has, uh, I, I got him one of those for his room. What the hell is this? I don't know how my toys are. Can I find them? 
I don't know where my toys are. Can you find them? Is that what it said? Hold on. Yeah, it's a spirit that wants me. It's probably the dead daughter that these freaking... I don't know what happened here. It's still, like, weird. Little birdie. It's the child's drawing, so the toys go in there. I'm going to wait until I've scoured the house. There's another dish. Another toy. Okay. We just have... He is so proud of you. Oh my god. Stop doing that. At least try to kill me. You're being nice. I hope the motion sensors are working. Because it said it, depending on the results, they'll send me back tomorrow with different objectives. So I don't know if there's multiple endings. All right, let me see if I got all the toys. We're missing a toy. All right, let's try the dishes. Ah. Are you happy? God, you're scary. You're freaky. All right, so we did one of the chores. Let's try the books. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's see what the knocking's all about. Usually, a spook will happen. Maybe it was the appearance in the wind. God. He's so freaky. Okay, we did that too. So now we just have to find a toy. Oh my god, it was right there. Okay, let's go. Let's go deliver the last toy. All right, pink question marks. Did you, did it do anything? So now your spirit can rest. I mean, I'm glad to have done it, but. Okay, it just says I've gathered all the useful data. I don't really know. Maybe just her behavior. She's gonna come up again, isn't she? I would have died if I left. Damn it. I should have tried to leave. I I think I shut the door. Maybe she shut it and it would lock or something. Oh, you're back. The garbage should go through the house. The trash isn't going to take care of itself. This is a uh, angry wife because the husband's a loser. Or the husband's not a loser and she's just a psycho. I gotta pick up the... This is a chore simulator. I need to see death. <laughs> it is. We're literally picking up trash. What is it going to teach us? That's what's confusing about this game. That's where we put all the trash. Let me try to pick everything up before we uh, commit. The stocked little fridge. Nice. Yeah, this is just another note from uh, the people I work for. Just killed another family. And they disposed of the bodies. It's pretty, and they're moving on to the next phase of the plan. I'm like, ugh. These are nice families. The hell 
is that? It says virtual furniture. I pressed it. Stop fucking around. Oh, you're going to kill me if I keep doing it? Oh, it doesn't let me. She swore. She said a swear. It's not very, uh, comely of a young woman. Very angry. I like the other Sally better. This is so weird. So yeah, they just executed the mom in front of the dad. And they're enjoying how much agony he's in because it's all that agony and pain's gonna help the operation. It's so weird. Let's see. No, I think that's... Holy crap. Yeah, this one's messing with me. It is spooky, though. I, I like the little spooks that they got here and there. I just wish it was more than a uh, cleanup simulator. I like this little bathroom. Now I didn't find that table yet. So we got that third. Oh, there is an upstairs. I was like, uh, cause we gotta place it somewhere. There it is. We're receiving signals from all three motion trackers now. Good work, agent. Hey, no problem, buddy. Sure, I try to read. Ah, that's so weird. So they executed the daughter in front of the parents. They waited several hours. They executed the wife from the father. And then that was supposed to be the ultimate pain and suffering to do their their deeds. Whatever that is. Creating these buffers or something. Alright, let's go dump the trash. Hopefully I got it all. I was trying to be pretty thorough. Uh, no, that's not another door. You gonna appear? Okay, this just talks about our main mission here. Oh, 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 take out the trash. Now it said fear for his safety if he doesn't take the trash out. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna do something. I'm waiting to hear like a scream and then she comes, you know, running. I'll give it a minute. I'm hoping that uh, it pisses her off. Okay, the map showed it was still unsolved. So let's take the garbage out. I was hoping she'd kill me. That would have been better than what I've experienced so far. I mean, maybe I've missed some spooks. About your time here off your ass and something useful? All right, Agent. I think we've learned enough for today. Return back home and we'll pick back up tomorrow. Oh boy, I can't wait. What's tomorrow? Mopping the floors? Let's check 102. That will be this one right over here. Because we couldn't get in there. It said it's not ready yet. No. I mean, it's got stuff in there. There might be some secret that I'm just missing. But, to be honest, I, I don't really want to. <laughs> okay, there's our car. Alright, we got enough info. Ok, 
Okay, so that was Born Into Fear. Don't forget down below in the description to link to the Steam page. You can play this for free. Satan, what'd you think, buddy? I don't really know. I mean, yes, they were spooky. They were creepy. And the whole story was really messed up. That was definitely a good horror story. But I wish you knew what this whole operation really was about. Maybe it told you. I, I just didn't get it. Did you get it? No, I, I didn't get it at all. I mean, I understood as the story was going on, they, they needed the pain and suffering to make, I think, make these things come to life, to summon one of these things into our world, but I don't know. It was, I felt like it was more of a cleaning simulator with a couple spooks. It wasn't even, if there were more spooks, I wouldn't have minded it. Or if you didn't complete the chores and you left the premises, you were stalked down and murdered or something, that would have been good, but this... I don't know. I, I can't say I really enjoyed this. Well, well, well. Let's see how the review goes then. Yeah, let's just do the review. All right, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. Satan does his review of the LP. Okay, so born into fear the rules go game developer and people watching for the first time Satan himself the true master you're damn right i am boy yeah yes the true master does his final review if you get a 4.0 or below you go right to hell if you score above you're safe for a limited amount of time not very long all right let's begin okay born into fear i give this a rating of Four point five. That is a four point five out of ten, Balamore. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, no, no! It was not good. They barely. Let me tell you something. They barely made it. I would agree with your assessment. That was a very fair review. I'm a fair and just god, Balamore. A fair and just god. So how long do they have before they get pulled into hell? About. Four hours. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm not happy. The devil is definitely not pleased here. They're going right into the pits of eternal darkness. <laughs> All right, game dev. Well, you know, get your stuff in order because he, he comes a calling and he's never late. Oh, on contrary, I'm always early. <laughs> okay, well, pack your bags. It's going to be a long one. Oh, no bags needed, Balmore. I just take them. It's like, uh, you ever watch those scared straight you know, shows on TV where they take troubled teens and criminals and they bring them into a prison and uh, all the violent prisoners are sitting there saying, oh yeah, you're going to be my when you get in here. You're fresh fish. Yeah, I have seen those. Well, let this be a warning to all the other game developers out there. This is a scared straight hell edition. Believe me, I'm coming. I am coming for you, game devs. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Do you need a... Uh... You need to say anything else about this game? Nah, I need to wash this taste out of my mouth. Let's play another one. Yeah, we'll play a couple more. All right, well, anything's going to be better than this. This was very disappointing. It had a couple spooks. That's what gave it the 0.5. Otherwise, it would have been straight to hell. All right, well, guys, until next time, as always, later. <laughs>